We're still in the process of examining Casper with Diane, and we're about to, thank you Casper, that's a nice fresh warm dropping somewhere that went there. <laughs> oh, I think it was that one. That one there, no, pretty close. And even after that handling, thanks for putting the plastic down. Yeah, that's, I, that's great. It lets me see, um, yes. lets me get a nice clean, that one was it? <laughs> okay. I'll take that one and put that onto a glass slide and then in a moment I'll cut out the white part of the dropping and we will do that, but that's great. Okay, if he normally has newspaper on the bottom of the cage, I'd like you to replace, particularly if it's coloured print as I'm seeing there, mm -hmm. I'd like you to change that to butcher's paper or packing paper or computer paper. Okay. Minimise exposure to heavy metals and other dyes and things that are in the thing. With this little bell here, it's just starting to go rusty. It's yeah. not bad at the moment, but it's starting to corrode. Yeah. As soon as corrosion appears, time to replace it or get yeah. rid of it, right? Yeah. Your other bells are in good order. Perches need to be replaced with natural branches. Yeah. And the paper, the sandpaper sleeve on this one needs to be um, put somewhere else that we've got nothing to do with him. Yeah. Maybe in your <laughs> toolkit. <laughs> Maybe with your screwdrivers and everything like that. It might be used for it there, but it's got no benefit at all for your bird in the longer term. He sometimes so looks sharp in his beak. He may, he may. Um, that's because he hasn't got any natural stones in there, a bit of sandstone or something like that. However, each little piece of sand that's on here is half covered in glue, or it wouldn't be sticking there. And most of these are not made in Australia, and even if they were, they probably wouldn't be made by people who are familiar with safety issues for bird's health. Yeah. Apart from that, he has quite long nails. Yeah. And um, no doubt you put it in, you're told that it keeps the nails short. Yeah. The evidence is contrary yeah. to that. Yeah. In fact, it makes the nails grow longer mm -hmm. because their feet get sore over time if you're standing on this for any length of time. Yeah. His feet would get sore. Yeah. He wouldn't want to grip the perch so tightly. Yeah. So he'd be sticking his nails out. Yeah. So they're not going to. So it does the opposite of what it's promoted as doing. So chuck out yeah. and don't replace. Okay. Avoid replacing <laughs> those. And replace your downing perches with natural branches with bark on them. Yeah. Uh, of non-toxic trees, which you can find out about there. Yeah. Um, and we'll go from there. Excellent. All right. Casper, we have to do a crop wash. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't like having to do this. We just have to do this. Casper. <laughs> <laughs> That's calmly, 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 calmly. So, what we're going to do is pass the tube down his throat over the over his tongue down to this part of his throat there. Get a little sample out. Um, unless he shows distress. If he shows too much distress, I'll use my judgment and we'll stop the process. But anyway. It's not a procedure I like doing, but it's yeah. one that gives us a diagnostic sample in most cases. So the tube is in place now. I'm just checking the position. I'm just putting in a bit of water, distilled water, and I'm going to muck, it, muck around um, a bit in there, do a bit of flushing. Okay, maybe. And then I'm maintaining a little bit of suction, particularly at this back of the throat up near the entrance to the throat there. And we're getting a sample. Mm. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, the worst is over, mate. Mm. Yes, it is. Mm. All right. Mm. I'll put you back up there. there you go. Mm. You know, gentle, gentle. So no, you see right gentle. now? Okay. I want to have a look at this while it's still warm under the microscope. Yep. So I'm just making a smear of the bit of goo that I've got out of there. I'm making a smear of the outside of the tube. I'll put a cover slip on that and I will report back to you. 